Remember when you used to stick your gum under the table when nobody was looking? Welcome back to Unwrapped, where we're stuck on the topic of chewing gum. Well, we're about to meet a guy who's made a hobby out of a very gross habit. Yeah. Jamie Maracini is a rare artist whose medium is food. Just like the great pastry artists who win competitions by building sculptures out of chocolate and sugar, Jamie's art is entirely edible. But the food Jamie works with has already been chewed. A lot of it I have chewed, but most of it, friends and fans, I guess, of gum art have chewed a lot of it and donated it to me. That's right. These sculptures and reliefs aren't ceramic or clay. They're chewing gum. I am a gum artist, yeah. And proud of it. I find that blowing bubbles while I'm working helps to inspire me. Jamie turned his youthful obsession into a grown-up passion. The reason I like to use gum is it reminds me of my childhood. And for this gum artist, that was a childhood spent chewing. As far back as my memories go, I remember collecting unchewed gum and showing it. It would be like, look at that. And then I'd take it away. And everyone would get excited in the neighborhood. Oh, can I have a piece of gum? Jamie's gum obsession eventually led to something that would send most kids to detention. He started smearing it on walls and making designs. And that's when his art took off. My parents were a little bit skeptical at first whether it was a good idea. They couldn't understand why it had to be gum and not, um, you know, paint. <laughs> but every kid knows the answer to that. It wouldn't be as fun. And neither would this, a sort of paint-by-numbers kit that uses gum. What's nice about the kits is that there is a little instruction sheet inside. Jamie invented the kits in 2005 and sells them online at chewbynumbers.com. Jamie says anyone can do it, but as a gum guru, he has the 411 on getting it right. Chew the gum for at least 15 minutes until all the flavor is gone. Soften the gum in warm water. Keep your fingers moist with water to prevent gum from sticking. Spread a small amount of the gum at a time because it's hard to spread the whole wad. So you get a little baby steps, baby steps. If you're still too timid to try it, for $200, you can buy kits online that Jamie's done for you. His original pieces are a bit more pricey and are prized by collectors. And you can see why with the detail on this piece, which has 3,900 pieces of gum in it. It's a four foot by two foot operating room scene. A lot of uh, 3D kind of effect to it with the characters coming off of the canvas. You won't find a kit to make this or the other sculptures. But if you like the idea of smearing your gum around in a way that won't get you in trouble, Jamie has just the art project for you. Chewing gum has all kinds of benefits. Studies have shown that chewing gum actually helps people concentrate and stay alert, plus it eases tension. Chewing gum also burns about 11 calories per hour. Not bad. Thanks for watching. See us again next time when we unwrap more secrets behind America's favorite foods. I'm Mark Summers, and uh, in an hour, maybe I can lose some calories here. Here we go.